Hello there, my name is Adit and in this video I am going to show you how to set up Vagrant with Laravel Homestead on your local machine, especially on Windows. Ok, so let's get started. Just go to vagrantapp.com and click on download section. So here it will ask you to download Vagrant. Now you can download Vagrant for Mac OS X, Windows, Linux, um, that is any version of Linux. Ok. So I have already downloaded it and installed it on my local machine. It asked me to restart my PC once, which I did already. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is install Oracle VirtualBox. Now, if it if Vagrant gives any error, that means VirtualBox or VMware is not installed. So I have already installed VirtualBox before installing Vagrant. You can go ahead and do any step first. So you can download Vag uh, VirtualBox for Windows, OS X or Linux. The next thing that we want to do is install git and you can go to git-scm.com and click on downloads. So there you'll find four links, Mac OS X, Windows, Linux and Solaris. You can download uh, for your any platform. Okay, I already downloaded it for Windows and I already installed it too. We need git bash for getting started with uh, getting on terminal on Windows machine ok so let's get started go ahead and open up git bash so here's my git bash so I can simply hit ls hyphen la to list all my files it's gonna list my all files from my desktop or from my home folder so the first thing that I want to do is simply say ssh space ssh hyphen keygen space hyphen t space rsa space hyphen capital c space and in double quotes i want to put in my email address you can put in your email address or simply leave it like that okay so it's asking me where to save the file i want to save this here yeah overwrite it um yeah for now no passphrase okay so it had generated uh, RSA 2048 SHA 256 best uh, um, a key that is SSH keygen okay so the next thing that we want to do is simply say vagrant box add laravel slash homestead and just hit enter now you can do this from anywhere on your machine so it will install homestead for you it's nearly 900 MB so you can go ahead and grab a cup of coffee if you want I have already installed it so no problem it's going up and running uh, so I'm gonna close this git bash open up my file explorer and in my VM folder I'm going to open git bash okay so now if I list the files there's nothing so what I want to do just go ahead and clone the directory git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash laravel slash homestead dot get to the homestead directory ok so it's cloning into homestead now it should not take much time because it's just nearly 200 KB of data so I'm gonna cd to the homestead ok so what is there in the homestead directory there are lots of files now if I run PHP homestead I'm gonna get a error that is it's a warning and it's not able to require this file so what I can do is simply hit composer install so it will install composer dependencies okay so just hit control L to clear the screen now if I hit ls there's one file added one folder added vendor so now what I want to do once I do this is simply say uh, php homestead and you'll find there are lots of options now the first option that we want to use is edit but before using edit we want to do something dot slash init dot sh make sure there's a file named as init dot sh in your current directory and just hit enter so it will say homestead initialized so now it has initialized my homestead for me I can simply go ahead and say php homestead edit as I said okay so here's my file now I can go ahead and check out this file it is setting my IP address to 
dot 10 dot 10 and memory is setting to 2048 that is 2 GB of memory I don't have much so I am setting 512 and I will be going down and you might see this I we have already generated authorization key we have already generated this SSH RD RSA and yeah so here's the most important thing that you want to do so what we will be doing we are going to map this folder to this directory in our virtual machine now as I'm on Windows there's no such thing like this if you are on Ubuntu or Macintosh this thing would work definitely fine but if I'm as I'm on Windows I need to put some specific address so capital E colon backslash code backslash tets backslash Leonir. now this is the directory path for my current tutorials project and I'm gonna map it to Leon Air and yeah I'm going to change this uh, URL to blog.app and I'm going to change this directory for here okay so now you have got installed on this now you can just close this file and open up git bash okay so what thing we want to do next you can simply go ahead and say php homestead up just to make sure that your vagrant machine is going to be up you can also use vagrant up if you want but I'm gonna use php homestead up so just wait and watch I'm gonna fast forward this video okay so it has completed it now you can go ahead and simply type in php homestead and check out the command named as status I just hope it goes correct okay so it's running on virtual box right now so now what do you want to do next now just you can close the git bash close this file close this too and I'll minimize it so just go ahead and open up your notepad or any other file uh, any other favorite file editor as a administrator if you are on Windows if you are on Macintosh or Ubuntu you are gonna edit uh, you can simply type in there sudo nano if you what is your favorite editor subl or nano or y and uh, vi and uh, simply go ahead and type in there slash etc slash hosts or if you are on windows the file path is something different I'm gonna open up C windows system 32 drivers etc and I'm gonna open up host file okay so right after that I want to edit up something now this process is similar for all the users if you are using uh, Windows or Ubuntu or Macintosh so just type in there your IP address that we saw just now it's 192.168.10.10 and I'm gonna point it out to the blog.app and just hit control s now if you go ahead to the Chrome open up a new tab and simply try to browse to blog.app well hoping so that will go to the Laravel main page it will show Laravel file so just wait and watch it might take a little bit time because it's it changed the proxy script okay so you may see that it's working now we have got just now Laravel homestead with Vagrant on your machine installed 
If you are on Windows, you may face a lots of difficulties installing this. But if you follow this video correctly for the first time, you may get this up and running right now. Even I face this difficulty, I made, I'm making this video 10th time right now. And it's successful right now. So, hope so you enjoyed this video. And make sure to watch my series. And we'll be meeting in the next episode. Like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.